The people on the out really just don't see about these tall grey walls inside HMP. When I'm alone in my cell at night, I sometimes wake up in a terrible fright. It always brings a great little sadness to me. We call me happy occasion when my heart was in the free. And that's when I was taken from my family. If God can only do the sad mistakes though, the world would be a better place for each and every one. As times go by I feel the pain, wishing I could be with my family again. I miss my mother, she was soft, she was gentle and kind. I could always sit down and talk and tell her what's in my mind. I write this poem for the world to see. That life's only worth living if you're truly free. So don't be bad, don't be like me, or you'll find yourself inside HMP. I was born in um, a place called Kings Inn in Norfolk on Christmas Day and I'm from a family of seven. And like there's three, um, three girls, three boys, me, mum and dad. Two, yeah, three, and one of them died like at birth. And well, we've moved up and down all his life from place to place. We lived in a place called Wisbeach, which is Norfolk. We lived there for, I don't know, six, seven years. It was happy days, really. We was going out with his dad, as youngsters, me and my brother. We didn't do a lot of education, because like being as a, from a travelling community, you don't really stay in one place for, for, for long enough. Well, well, we did do a little bit of schooling, but obviously people was prejudiced, prejudiced against us in school. So my dad didn't like that first, so we got pulled out at an early age. We used to do scrapping, tree work, numerous jobs, moving from place to place. And then um, we settled in Wisbeach, and that's where we started boxing. And we started boxing, I was about 12, my brother was about 11. And I finished when I was 18. Had about 20 odd fights, one majority of them. Had uh, numerous championship fights. I was a bronze medalist in the NABCs, junior ABA fights, home counties, regional two, a load of championships. It was a good life, we were younger as scallywags, me and my brother, very, very mischievous. We always used to get items off of that, but obviously all travelling kids do do. Uh, growing up as a traveller, when you, when you were younger, it was great. You knew no different. You were free. You got to see a lot of different things at a young age. You move all over the country. It was nice. When you get to a certain, certain age, when you're 10, 11, 12, things start to become a bit different because you're never settled. You don't get a right education. You don't get to go to school when other people are going to school. Times as we used to, uh, family members used to go out with horse and carts, collecting scrap, many things to earn money. Just didn't really like the times when we didn't get long to stay in one spot, people moving us on. But it's life, it's my life, I enjoy it. Our father figures is like the main, main figure in our life, you know. You get to go out working with him and when, when you should be at school, you're learning how to a trade really, how to survive in life when you're older. Some of the good times is really when you go to a big traveller's events, you know. Usually your sisters get left at home with your mother and you get to go places like Stowe Fair, Appleby Horse Fair. You go a lot of different places, you know, and it's good memories. You get to see a lot of people from the travelling community you don't normally see for a long time. When we was at school in that day, it was really us against the non-travelling community, gorgeous as we call them. Like we'd be often picked on in that day at school, so obviously we had to defend from an early age. And it was always like, that's why gypsies are so secretive. They don't want in outsiders coming inside. Because they've, we've had so much stick over the years off of people. We don't want them to know our culture, we don't want nothing to do with them. Uh. Most people just slam the door in your face when you knock on the door and you're trying to, trying to get a job trying to ask them if there's any work to be done. So, my point of view about this, I'd say it's pretty hard to get work, yeah, pretty hard. Education, if you haven't been in it in your younger days, it's pretty hard to get into education as you get and as you get older. It's harder to learn things. This thing, what's been on the telly recently, a big fat gypsy wedding, they've absolutely made a show of travellers. They've shown us up so bad it's untrue. I've, Eventually, to start when it was supposed to be about weddings and then it went into the lifestyle of travellers and people, how, however much they get paid, they sold their own selves out, trying to emphasise that young girls get grabbed. That doesn't happen at all. 
You're not allowed to go up and put your arms on a girl and walk off and beat her till she gives you a kiss. That, that, that's the next best thing to rape. We don't believe in all that. I've got six sisters, and if anyone done that, believe me, they won't get away with it. They give insights into young girls getting spray tans at, at the age of seven and eight. That doesn't happen. Maybe one woman has decided on that programme to let a daughter get a spray tan because it's a daughter's holy communion, because that's what it was. That doesn't mean everyone does it. But because we're a different culture, it's easy for us to be entertainment for the, for the, for the, the UK public, so to say. You know what I mean? Because it's exciting, isn't it? It's a different, it's a different life. I know for 90% of travellers that when, when you marry a travelling girl, she, you know what I mean? She's never been with another man. But they don't see, they, they don't show these things, you know what I mean? They only show the bad things, and that's what they like to do. And I think the people that showed this Gypsy Weddings have filmed it, however much they got paid for it, because they did get paid for it, they, they, sold, they sold the community down the river kind of thing to do that, you know what I mean? I think it was highly wrong. I think what they want to do is speak to proper travellers, pe people who are down to earth people who will give a proper insight into a travelling life. Yeah, no, there was this once, one time years ago, I was about nine or ten years of age, and we were stopping at a place called Tamworth in Litchfield. We'd just moved down to this big lay-by, and uh, before you know it, my dad was uh, just drove off and my dad had got like the, the petrol for the generator to last us over the Christmas time, Christmas period. And uh, a police car pulled up on a riot van and told us we had to move that day. And my dad said, come on mate, give us a break. He said, it's Christmas day, so we've got kids here and everything. He said, we want to do somewhere just for, till Boxing Day. And there was obviously, there was adamant, they wanted us to, to move there and then. You, if you don't move off, if you don't do it politely, we're bulldozing you off. We're shoving you off, we're moving you off. To me, that's treating us unfair. That's making us feel like a piece of shit. We're just getting pushed to one side, pushed out of the way. Feelings going through our body like all our tackle, what's around us, is just going to get shoved, smashed, ruined, taken away from us. Why do they do this to us? Why can't we just be left peaceful? We're doing nothing wrong. You find it somewhere, we'll go! The protest continues throughout the morning, and then a rumour goes round that the travellers have thrown gas canisters into the ditches. Fearing they may be ignited, council officers call off the eviction on grounds of health and safety. How can you evict somebody in the middle of the night sometimes they'll come down, or 6 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, just come down, drag you out your trailers, more or less, and you got to move there and then. And you've got to have young children laying in the bed, little babies and all that, and needs feeding and things like that there, but you've got to move there and then, that's not fair, you know what I mean? You don't get nothing. It's hard to get a council site these days. You know what I mean? As I say, they're making more sites for the gypsy community, but they're not making more sites. They're dragging us off sites. We were stopping in Bulkington, just outside of Coventry, and the bailiffs come down, and we put all gas bottles all the way around the site. So when they come down, we were going to light them and set it up. I don't know. I don't think people give travellers a fair chance, not at all, because at the end of the day, it's easier for them to give you orders to move or kick you away from where you're living at that moment. They can go home, they've, got a, they, they've been brought up in a house, they've been brought up in a stable home, you know what I mean? We haven't, we've been brought up in a caravans and it's not nice for, for them to come and say, right, move from here now, but you tell them you've got nowhere to go, but they don't, they don't want to listen. You know what I mean? How would they like being us to knock on their house and go, listen, move from here now and you've got to move five rows down or something like that. It's uncomfortable, you know, it's unsettling. So I don't think travellers get a fair, fair, fair chance at all. They don't get a right. You see on telly on Bean site and all them other sites and all that, they just come down. People probably lived there five, six years, ten years even. Longer perhaps, and what's it called? They've got to move there and then dragging old women out the way and young children calling us scum and things like that there. We're not scum at the end of the day. We, if we cut you, use them and gypsies. If we cut you, use a bleed. If you cut me, I'll bleed. It's not, we ain't got green blood. Our blood's the same as everybody else. Obviously, the government don't see it like that there. Uh, I ended up in prison for ringing motors. Uh, that basically means doubling up motors, making a clone of an original vehicle. Being brought up in a way where you've got to basically fight for survival. It's easier to, to get 
money, a dodgy way, sh sh should I say, than it easy is to get a job or anything, you know. I end up in prison through motors. I know a lot about cars, so it just seemed second nature to me to be able to clone a car very easily. Since the age of 19 to 20, I've been coming in and out of jail. In 2005, I've got five and a half years. I've done more or less than 29 years of age now. I've done four and a half years by the time I get out. I'd have done four and a half years out of a five and a half year sentence. I want to better myself. I've got a missus now, I've got a child on the way. The missus is three months pregnant. This is my chance. I'm going to take it. I just want the, the government just to realise it and just give me a chance. You know, everybody deserves a chance in life. Obviously, I want this to be my chance. Prison's made me realise prison's not the place to be. There's much better in me than coming into jail. It's my first time in jail. It's going to be my last, I hope so. I've learnt a lot of things whilst I've been in jail. I've gained education. I've understood jail's not the place to be. But I've maintained myself as in the gym and fitness, so I'm back out there. I'm back to my own self. And um, jail's just made me realise, don't come in here. Jail's for losers. And I just want to go somewhere in life, make a future, not look back on jail as a bad thing and not come back. Jail's not the place to be. Prison's learnt me not to come back to prison. Because obviously when you're in prison, you're away from your family and that day. Listen, there's no clever men in prison. Only clever men is the ones who's outside there. <coughs> obviously it's a foolish thing to do on that day. But when you're young, I was getting out of prison the same age in my head as what I was when I come in. I've probably done two or three years by that time. I'm still getting out with that same mentality, so I'm, I'm nightclubbing, partying, messing up and down with girls, drinking, you know what I mean? It's, but this and prison this time has learnt me because I'm educated now. I don't want this for my family. My missus is having a child. I want to better myself. Uh, whilst I'm trying to get a landscape gardening quali qualification from in this prison, so then when I can get out, I'm legal. I can go on from there. And I can teach my kids not to come to prison. And that's what I want. And I think that's what all gypsy children should have, an education these days. Be a part of a society, not against society. The plan for when I get out of prison is to try to go back to life and not come back to prison again. Prison's not a nice place. It's an easy place. There's no point people saying, oh, it's hard and it's hard this, it's not. Whatever prison you're in, it's easy enough because you get, you get the right necessities to help you cope, you know what I mean? The hardest part I think of being from prison is being away from your loved ones, you know? But my plans for the future is I'm trying my best not to come back to prison. But it's hard because with probation this day and age, it's very, very easy. You don't have to commit a crime or hurt anybody or do anything wrong, but probation can still call you to back to prison. So my plans are to try keep myself to myself and do whatever it takes to stay away from prison. I'm going to go back out to my wife and hopefully start a family and start a bit of scrap metal. Anything honest at all to keep me away from the law. These mist covered mountains are all now for me. But my home is the lowlands And always will be Someday you'll return to Gypsy travellers remain in the night after three-year legal battles which fixed them ended in violent scenes. More than a hundred riot police patched with families at the camp of Little Waltham near Chelmsford the big caravans were turned away, the travellers' hopes of being allowed to stay together went away as well.